everyone. Today we have a really fun jewelry haul from Clever Kim's Curios on Etsy. And this artist is really cool because, well, she makes really interesting, unique, spooky stuff. I think her slogan is something like um, jewelry for as unique as the people who wear it or something similar. It's like, it's really cool. So her things are cool and so are we if we buy it is basically the thing and it's true. So um, she actually makes jewelry that has been worn on TV shows like she had a moth, a death head moth ring that's similar to this one except it had like stones in the wings and a half moon above the moth's head. She sells this one and the deluxe version that I just described. Um, but the deluxe version was worn on the new reboot of Charmed which I'm still trying to work myself up to watching. Um, out of morbid curiosity, I'm sure I will. But anyway, um, if anybody has seen it, warn us in the comments below. Um, and so, yeah, and she had something that she designed that was worn on Riverdale. And there was another show that actually, oh, Vampire Diaries, maybe? Um, an amber that Bonnie wore. So I love amber. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, and some other shows that I don't watch. We got a cool sticker included with her store logo. And this is the box, how it comes, it being your order. So it's got room for a couple pieces, which is nice. It didn't have to be crammed in. And it has her logo there. Um, if you guys are new, I'm Morticia. Gomez is behind the camera. Slappy is not in here, but he will be back for a video soon. A video near you. And now we're going to get into this review of our awesome pieces from Clever Kim's Curios. These earrings Gomez got for me, they're beautiful, they're copper. Death head moth earrings, and he's trying to turn around and be shy. There he is. And they're on each wing is connected to a chain, so when you move your head, it looks like he's flying around. That's cool. And they're surprisingly lightweight. I'm a real like earring wimp. If they're too long and dangly, they're heavy for me. And they hurt my little ears, and I have to end up doing something else with the earring, like turn it into a bracelet or a pendant or whatever, because they're usually big enough for that. But these I have worn for like two days and they are not too heavy. It's awesome. No pain, no problems. Pretty amazing. Very cool. And that's how the moth looks. And you can get it in copper or silver and the same with the ring. And she has a choker and a necklace of the same one. I got this ring a while ago and I showed it in a general gothic jewelry haul. But this is the ring from the same seller. Very cool. This is the sterling silver. So there's his little twin in copper. How cool. His extended self, I should say. And then she gave us two free gifts, which is really awesome. And I think it's so cool when a seller actually gives you, I have to compliment her on this, a free gift. Thank you. Actually, two free gifts. Thank you so much. That are kind of like relating to what you bought. Like, okay, I see your taste, kind of, and I'm giving you something cool that you can still use. That's really nice. Really very kind. Um, these include shipping always. And I want to say the earrings are like third. Well, it depends on if you choose copper or if you choose um sterling but it's between 30 some and 40 some including shipping so that's cool and the first free gift were these bat earrings I just stuck it in the other ear so it would make showing it easier but these are like kind of filigreed Victorian bats and it just looks like it's also like the moth flying from your ear so that's really cool and like the moths they're surprisingly lightweight again I would think that would hurt my ear over time and it hasn't so much props and respect to that very cool and I adore bats so it's just like now, will I break and make it into a bat bracelet because I have a bat bracelet issue or not? I don't know, but they're really cool. And right now, they're earrings, and I love them, and it's just cool. So, um, the next free gift is so cool because he's, like, special. He's um, I think she said it was Coyote Bone, and I'm going to send her a picture so if she knows exactly what it is. But it's kind of like bovine and at first Gomez thought it's like a bull head sort of kind of but I'm not sure but I'm like well okay if these are the horns they're flat sort of like and I guess it could be an abstract thing right but it seems kind of flattened out for horns and I thought the bull horns were more like curved inward like this didn't seem like but there's like longhorn cattle or whatever too okay but still it seems flat so you know how they'll have like bat wings or something and they're or bird wings and they're constricted because they're up like this and they're not fully spread I'm like, okay, it has a snout too, though. What if it's like a boar or a gargoyle boar, you know, with a piggy face like the one on Notre Dame? Because it has this rough down the back, the head sort of, that could be like the boar's mane, you know, like the thing. So what if it's a boar with wings, like the pig with wings, because these could be little tusks here. It's kind of abstract, you know? And so it could be a pig with wings or a gargoyle pig with wings or a weird long horn bovine face. But I'm into the gargoyle or the pig because... I like those. I like boars, wild boar a lot. 
and gargoyles are my obsession. So it's kind of like a dream kind of, you know, piece because it's like, what does it mean to you? Like a Tori Amos song, okay? This guy is a living Tori Amos song. Well, not living, but, you know, because he's like, whatever you hear is, that's what it is for you. So he is awesome. At first I was like, okay, this is weird. What am I going to do with this? Like, it's different. It's cool. Like, will I give it to someone? Will I keep it? And the more I looked at it, it's just like, you know, it's magical because it can kind of be whatever you want it to be. What do you guys think it is? Is it a strange bovine cow? Is it a boar? Is it light with wings that are kind of up and dainty and half closed? Or is it like a gargoyle? What do you think? Because like I said, it just looks like real contracted wings because it's too flat to be a horn. Look, it has the wing, it kind of curves like a wing inside here too, like on the inside. And then here. So I'm thinking some kind of contracted wings. And then back here is that rough on the boar's like head and back that they have. So then you got little tusks here out the side. I'm saying. So, and he's got his little piggies now. I love him. Whatever he is, he feels great. Kind of nice protective energy. And I really love him. So, I mean, I know I'm talking as much about the free gifts as the earrings. And I can't help it. They're just awesome. These are great bat earrings. Great quality. This guy is great quality. He's bone. He's big in 3D, but lightweight. And he hangs great. He sits great. I just love him. And these, um, I want to show the moths from the underside. They're like a little bit hollow in the back, so they're not too heavy. I forgot to show the underside. So, But, you know, she's really cool. We will link her shop below because it's kind of neat that she makes items for people who have, like, worn them on TV and stuff. That's cool. And she's still very affordable and unique. And she um, makes a lot of, like oddities from bone and stuff like that and I think she actually made the moth out of like a replica of a real one so this is just like copper or silver but it's like a replica of a real one so it's really cool you can see the nice skull detailing on the back and it's real so it's not like over I mean it's copied from a real one I think if I understood right so it's not like overdone with the skull being like too dramatic it's like real so and his texture even feels like just you can imagine it feeling real like just the crinkliness of the moth wings it's just really cool so I haven't taken this ring off since I got it several months ago as a testament to its awesomeness. It's big but lightweight like the earrings and it's just a nice showpiece. I've gotten a lot of compliments. So, um, But she makes like things out of bone and then she'll make like things out of um, just all different kinds of things that you know you notice it's far away, it's pretty, you get close and you're like what is that? How cool you know? So very unique and different and if you like unique and different jewelry she's got it all. She makes it out of bone, out of mixed metals, just everything. Um, she has a ring that I think looks really cool. It's a tarantula fang ring. And it's a real tarantula fang in silver, if I understood. So I'm like, oh, how cool. So anyway, like just stuff like that that's really cool. She has things in bottles that you can wear. Like I, I want to say snake vertebrae or something. I don't really do a lot of snake stuff. But I have some friends that love snakes. She has a bunch of real snake parts in jewelry. Just cool stuff. So.